Alright, this is for Kevin's to Kadonka. He recommended a short read from a guy by the name of Redbeard. And his writing is called... By the way, that's his pseudonym. It's not his real name, I believe. And it's called Might is Right. I read the first 16 pages and the last 16 pages. That's a lot for me, considering a lot of people from the real world that I know are having books in front of my face and I gotta read that shit too. So I'm reading a little bit of everything. So first 16 pages and the beginning, first last 16 pages in the end. That's the golden mean for me. Now, I like this way that this book is like represents itself. It's social Darwinism. And it critiques Christianity for supporting the have-nots. The idealization of the have-nots. Um, now, if codependent people fantasize themselves as a white knight, this heroic surrender, the martyr is a bigger surrender than that. It's taking codependence to its maximum extreme. And I could see how that might damage people's perspective on the haves and the people that are not the have-nots. How they're sort of demonized. And that might be bothersome. Uh, I also like read like the synopses. Like some of the bigger concepts. And yeah, it is essentially social Darwinism. But I don't really like to label it just that because it does, it is an interesting read now what I really got to think about is what do I take from this oh by the way uh, Kevin Sukanoka yeah I noticed that your profile icon is a gorister from I have no mouth when he must scream that game was really fucking cool I enjoyed that thing when I was 13 just to, just to let you know Big Carlin Ellison fan right here. Now, going back to the main point, what do I take from this information? Well, it's sort of like, does, this, does it reinforce my views? Does it like add more to my views? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I can take from this. All I know is that someone, somewhere, out there has something that they can take from this writing and it may or not may not be me cuz quite frankly not a lot of what that was written there changed my opinion on anything or gave any sort of cognitive dissonance or astoundment it just sort of made me think about things I never thought of before. Yet, it didn't really open new paths. It didn't open new pathways in my mind. Find a venue for something interesting for me. I enjoyed the writing style. The writing style was very interesting. I have to say that much. Like, this guy, he did have that pseudonym, but... He's a brilliant guy, and I kind of enjoy, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, when I get more time done finishing this book, I'll go back to that one and, like, finish it 100%. I got to thank uh, Heaven Sukadonka for that. Thanks a lot, bro. I really appreciate it. And, yeah.